On Monday, Honduran President Juan Orlando Hernandez visited the United States for a high-level security meeting. He intended to plan the next steps in Honduras in the drug war for 2015, which is slated to include more U.S. presence and an increased military budget. For the conclusions of this meeting, here's our correspondent Gerardo Torres. Honduran President Juan Orlando Hernandez is visiting the United States to ask for more military support and also political intervention of the United States in the war on drugs. The Honduran strategy contradicts the regional efforts, which is moving away from militarization. The Democratic Security Treaty makes it very clear that public security is a matter strictly for civil authorities. The armed forces have a very clear role that is well defined and recognized and is included in the constitutions of Central American countries. Hernandez Pisces has as its main goal an increase of Honduran and United States military presence, following other regional examples such as Plan Merida of Mexico and Plan Colombia, which militarize regions with the justification of fighting against drug cartels. On a national level, we have an interinstitutional security force, which allows us to have attorneys, police, judges, members of the armed forces, and migration authorities working together using the information that each of those bodies has. The visit of the Honduran president with high-level military authorities of the United States could possibly mean more militarization in Honduras. In addition, historical United States intervention hasn't been able to reduce violence rates in the country, and its increase could have even worse consequences. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.